Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to another episode of WoW Classic. We are in Stranglethorn today, and there's some things you should know about Stranglethorn. It's that I think it's a beautiful zone. I love the aesthetic and the feel. It's really the first jungle that you see in the game, and it's pretty damn remarkable the first time that you're in the zone. However, the first time you're in the zone, you realize that you've been in this zone for a long time by the time you're out of it. And so I have leveled through Stranglethorn Vale quite a bit. A lot in Classic and in the Burning Crusade expansion. And so to me, Stranglethorn Vale, as beautiful and unique as it is, um, it represents kind of like a long winter that you know is coming. And that you know is going to last for a very long time. And that you just have to mentally and emotionally prepare yourself for. And so, the point of me saying all that is that we are going to do some quests today in Stranglethorn Vale. But, you might not be seeing a lot of Stranglethorn Vale in this playthrough. It might be an opportunity for me to do a lot of grinding. For just, just animal parts that we can sell for good money for our mount. Because we are at 51 gold. And we need about 50 more gold. Actually, like 49 more gold. And we will be good to get our mount at level 40. And I'm not expecting to knock out, like, all of that in Stranglethorn. But some of the cats and other creatures here drop items. Like bristly whiskers and soft bushy tails that vendor for quite a bit. And so this might be a place where I grind out a few levels. I'll do a lot of the boring quests on my own. You know, there's tons of quests we have to kill panthers and tigers and raptors and we've done all that in other playthroughs so if you're really interested in seeing a pretty in-depth playthrough of Stranglethorn Vale the warrior actually did quite a bit of Stranglethorn Vale and he kind of got stuck there he, he's still trying to find his way out and one day he will uh, but he got pretty deep into Stranglethorn Vale so oh gosh <laughs> they are level 37 and so in order to not kind of burn out here in the same way that the warrior did... Oh, well, we're not going to live, are we? Well, there we go. Your other lesson about Stranglethorn Vale is it's dangerous. So yeah, basically, and I'll pay more attention while walking for a bit, I'm trying to uncover parts of the map that we don't have so that I can see exactly where everything is. Uh, you'll be seeing not all of Stranglethorn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing most of Stranglethorn um, on my own, which is probably the best way for me to tackle the zone. Uh, it's going to be the best way for me to actually get through it. If I can just find those times when I can just power through the zone and do a ton of quests and a ton of grinding um, all in one sitting, that's going to work best for me. It's something that I rarely do, but for this zone, it's probably going to be necessary and what I'll do is when there are quests that are mildly engaging or things that I think are interesting and not just kill 20 panthers kill 20 raptors those quests you know I will record and put up on YouTube um, but I expect to do a lot of this zone on my own this is not a good area for us to be at I'm realizing We'll get back to the road. I'm looking for Colonel Curzon's compound because we're going to handle... Today we're going to take on the Second Rebellion and Bad Medicine. I think we can do them both in the Curzon's compound area. Oh, this gorilla is going to womp us too. Level 37. Let's just keep on keeping on. We can spin him off of us. Oh shit, he resisted it or something. Oh no, not another one. Okay, we will throw a heal on ourselves. Get a heal over time rolling. Throw our shield back up and hope for the best. Okay. I think Colonel Curzon's compound is up over here. At least that's that's what I'm hoping for at this point. I'm hoping it's not down here because uh, we did not succeed in getting back there. Oh god, there's one right on the road. What a bogus move. I guess we could probably... No, no, we couldn't. We couldn't even go around it. At least we got him with the fear. And in the meantime, you know, what I'm also going to be doing uh, and making videos for, hopefully, I'm going to try to do as many dungeons as we can. 
at this level we can still do Nomorgon, we can do Scarlet Monastery Library, we can do Scarlet Monastery Graveyard, and maybe Armory in a level or so after we've done all that. I know I'm just making kind of a wild trek here across the zone, but... I did have some memory that the Colonel Curzon's people were up here somewhere, so... Uh, that's the only tip I have, is some vague recollection of having done this quest on the warrior. See, we don't need these guys yet. We need the young Stranglethorn Tigers, which are only really over in the area to the west. I did want to say thank you guys so much for all the comments you've been leaving about places that we can quest and things that we should do and some of your own experiences during the level 30 to 40 level range because it seems like it just becomes kind of a, a slog for everybody. Uh, I love hearing your guys' thoughts, uh, both your own experiences and our playthrough here. So, yeah, thank you. Aha! Curds and Jungle Fighter. Okay. Uh, so we can let's let's take a look at these quests here before we start in on these guys. Uh, Second Rebellion. We're fighting a losing battle with Colonel Curzon. Not only is he bri a brilliant tactician, he outnumbers us at least ten to one. To survive, we need to use his own covert tactics against him. Enter his camp to the east and kill his men. Lots of them. Get out before reinforcements can close on you. Okay, so we're just gonna be taking them out, I guess. Any of these fighters and then bad medicine. To have a chance against Curzon, we need his healing support neutralized. He has gathered around him a large number of medicine men who heal his forces from with jungle remedies and poison our fighters with venom fern extracts. We need those remedies to cure our own people, and we need a sample of those extracts to study so we can make our own remedies. Search Curzon's compound for both. His medicine men will have the remedies, and the extracts are probably stowed somewhere in the camp's supply boxes. Alright, let's head in. Oh, they're going to be runners. That could possibly get us into some trouble. We don't exactly have a good burst to take them out quickly once they run. We just have to get lucky with our ticks of Shadow Word Pain and our wand. So the medicine men we need for the jungle remedies. I'm... Oh god, what a huge resist. How unfortunate. I'm guessing that they could probably heal themselves when the only counter spell we have is Psychic Scream and that's really not going to be great. I mean, we'll do it if we have to. That ability isn't ready yeah, like, I don't want him healing himself back to full, you know? I just don't want the fight to last forever. So, we'll probably be taking our chances with Psychic Scream. Since we have no other spell interrupt as of yet. As I say that... No. Man, no. I was looking for secondary effects on some other spells that I wasn't that we didn't really use a lot, but nothing that's gonna stop casting. At least they seem to be kind of spaced out. We'll see if that holds true once we're down in the camp proper. We have to find the venom for an extract. It's going to be a clickable item somewhere. Oh. 
he's resisting. I wonder if they have a high holy resistance because they're some kind of variant of a priest. Um, what did I drag off of F4? I can't cast that yet. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure it will become clear to me at some point. Definitely had something keybound there. Uh, I think, yes, there was another medicine man up here. Shit. Well, I hope he comes back because I'm not running over there. He'll come back eventually. He might have buddies uh, when he comes back, but. What an asshole. <laughs> what a complete dick. And so we literally have to chase him down. If we don't chase him down, they're just going to come back and they're going to cast the heal again. Alright, yeah, that's fair enough. It's a smart thing to do. I didn't realize that he'd be that smart, but. Keep casting heal till you have no mana. That's still recharging. This fight, this fight is literally never going to end if he keeps regening his mana. How horrible. <laughs> How horrible it is to not have a normal interrupt. Oh my god. Is this the big weakness of the priest? Going up against any kind of person that can heal? This is going to be brutal. We have to chase them down when we hit them with Psychic Scream, and we have to murder them. Because this is not good. I don't want to be locked in combat with one of these guys for four or five minutes every time we take one on. And he has some kind of heal over time he's using. This is not working for me. This is not working for me. I do not like it. <laughs> I don't like fighting these guys. Holy shit. I cannot believe this is still going on. I don't know if we're going to beat him. I can't cast that. Yeah, he's got some kind of heal over time. It's too far away. He's got some kind of fucking heal over time that keeps just healing him up. And we can't deal enough damage to him. Because we can't cast because we're out of mana. And he's not. He's going to heal himself more. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Our wand is now complete shit, I guess. I can't do that. Okay. Oh no 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 no! This is the sound of fucking disbelief. He's going to heal himself back to full. He's going to come. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Well, after that, I need to go contemplate my life for a little while. All right. Well, I've drank some coffee and it's been one minute and nothing else, nothing has changed. Um, welcome to Stranglethorn Vale. And what a warm welcome it's been. Full of, full of holy light and joy and light and... Enemies healing themselves to full. The good news is we got one out of seven jungle remedies. The bad news is we need six more. 
they're not 100% drop rate, so we're bound to have to fight about 12, or 13, or 15 more of those uh, medics. You know, at 10 minutes of fight, it's only 130 minutes of fighting medics. It's totally fine. I guess we are ready for a new wand. And if you guys know any place that we can get one, I would love to know that information. But I don't know why he just didn't go into the house, I would have. What are we gonna do with this guy? We cannot have a repeat of the shit that just happened. See, that one went so much smoother. It went so much smoother. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Curds and supplies we need are over there. That should have the venom fern extract in it. So we have to clear that camp out somehow. Um, that'll be interesting. So Night Elf Druid over here. I guess you can't cast that on people who are not in your party. We'll help him out with this guy, because we know that they're pains in the ass. That's still recharging. He healed himself to full. The psychic stream, we weren't in range. Oh my god, these guys are just- these guys are awful. They're just awful. He has enough mana that he could do it again if he was quick enough. He's not going to though. Yeah. Well, there you go, pal. Good luck. You're gonna need it. How do we approach pulling this cluster? Well, first we take on the guy over here, I guess. We got really lucky with the way he ran, that's all. I need to get closer. Could have gone any other way. Now he's off to in races, and who knows how that'll end. He can just do this again though, that's the shit thing about it, is in a second he's gonna get the trigger to heal himself again, isn't he? Oh good, he's running. That's, that's the only reason. Cause yeah, he has full mana, so I'm assuming at some point they just cast that heal again like we saw before. And that's when we find ourselves well and truly screwed. I have an interest in getting all of my mana back here. Before we think about how we are going to pull the rest of these guys, uh, maybe we can get this guy on his own. I think that they're all going to be connected to at least one other enemy. Like, we can find out easily enough. Yeah, nope, that's not going to work. We're not going to be able to do that on our own. Uh, that's going to be a pain in the ass then. We're going to need to find some help, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get lucky and another player will tackle it while we're here, so let's just keep clearing and we'll keep an eye out.
I am not getting involved in that. Don't bring that anywhere near me. It's not happening. I don't want it. I never wanted it. Okay, thank you. All right, well, uh, well, we're not we're not pulling this camp. That druid is probably going to be no help to us at all. Yeah, I just don't see any way that we're doing this without some significant assistance. But we can take on the rest of these guys. We only have one jungle remedy, so that's promising as well. War Tigers. I'm at a point where I need to start buying more Sweet Nectar, actually. Especially if we're going up against casters. That heal over time is too strong, like literally Shadow or Pain won't kill him. Neither will the wand. Come on. Tick together. There you go. There you go. Whew. Okay. Two out of seven. There we go. That's progress. Don't want two of you. Don't want two of you. Oh shit. Curzon Commando, we don't need you. And you're level 35? And are and you're resisting all of our spells? Shit. Not looking good for us. That still recharges. That spell isn't ready yet. I don't even know how to deal with this guy. I guess we just go all out DPS and hope for the best. It's resisting everything, so that's a good sign. I can't cast that yet. Uh, we're stunned. Okay, good. Good deal. This druid is still over here, so maybe eventually they'll work their way into the middle here and help us take this camp. Oh, there are two druids here, right? They've got to be planning to take this camp, so I think we're going to have an opportunity here pretty soon. Don't tag him! Alright, yeah, that's fine too. Oh wait, there's some supplies here, so... Do we just have to search through these? Until we find the supplies? Oh shit. Um, yeah, it's totally okay. We'll totally heal you. Once we find out where our keybinds are at, we'll heal you. It's gonna be good. When you get it, it's going to be a good heal. I'm not sure why he's meleeing with the staff. I, I'm not sure if that's something that the druid does. I, I'm a little confused. You'd think if he were in this form, he'd be casting. Right? What's he doing? I'm so, I'm so confused. I'm so confused I can't even DPS properly. Well, hey, we got our extract, so I guess we don't need to break into the middle of the camp. We just need some more fighters. And some more medicine men. Where did this other guy go? Is he upstairs?
Okay. We'll take that. And that. And one of these. Well, this has worked out. I don't want the chest. I can't cast that yet. I need more mana. You do. You need more mana. This is a fact. So it happens when we heal. Or when we're just not getting the killing blow. But I guess we don't really need mana if we're in a group of four here. We can just kind of wand away and cast the occasional heal and be useful. This medicine man probably healing himself to full. Totally fine. That spell isn't ready Take a heal. party chat looks really useful switch over to the combat log oh good I could still see what they say up in my face in real in real world bubbles that's right real world bubbles very annoying okay Jungle remedies, good, good. And we're only getting to loot like one in every four that we defeat. So that's kind of why grouping for quests like this bothers me a little bit. And why in retail WoW it, it's much better. You all get to loot an item if it drops. And like I'm fine if that means a lower drop rate, but yeah, it just makes these kinds of quests so much slower if they're not just, just kill quests. If you're getting items, it's going to take a longer time with four people. Now, you could say that you can defeat enemies faster so that it balances out, but that's not always the case. It's too far away. It really depends on the group. And the abundance of enemies around. I'm going to heal you and it's going to be great. up silenced it's really inconvenient now I've I've been silenced again also shitty I can't cast it we are doing very poorly at keeping our group alive yikes okay well there's always rising <laughs> Uh, maybe this was not the greatest spot to sit. Did this guy just respawn right here? And is he going to aggro us? I don't know. Did we need any of these commandos? I certainly didn't. That doesn't lead anywhere. Doesn't lead anywhere. Uh, 
they are not dropping jungle remedies. are a low drop rate. Odd stack of books, okay. Wait. Is the music different in this room? Huh, maybe not. It's just my imagination. I'm gonna say that he went ahead and pulled too many here. Like, I'm not a doctor, scientist, or anything, but. I'm gonna say that uh, my opinion is that we might have pulled too many. Okay, well, we lived, so that's good. Whatever decision-making process went into that pull, that part wasn't so good, but... The great thing is I think he's already up there fighting more things, but that's okay because we are going to drink to full. Well, there's four jungle remedies. We're making a slow progress. Three, but I can probably get them faster on my own. Honestly. Is he inside? He is. Oh, he just healed himself a full. So sad. If only we'd have been there moments before to help out.
At least they're dropping some silk for us too, I guess. That's not bad. Got 15 bolts of silk we can use. We got 12 silk that we can turn into bolts. So I have some tailoring that I could probably do soon. Alright, no more heals for anybody until I'm full on health. And mana. Mainly just the mana thing. Forget the health. We're fine with health. Just, we need mana. We're not getting spirit tap for anything because we're having to spend most of our time healing, so... It's really killing our regen. There's Spirit Tap. And another Jungle Remedy. I like the little circle that we're running. That was a big hit of damage. Whatever he did, there must have been a finishing move. Pretty impressive. Let's throw out a big heal here. Fade leaf. That's interesting. Just some kind of herb, I guess. Ah, uh, we only need one more. This could have been worse. Commandos in the cave. Do we need to be in the cave? Is the cave is the cave something we need? I guess there are medicine men in here. Oh, from the head shrinkers. Oh, okay. Seems like it's kind of farmed out, but it's an interesting cave system nonetheless. And they don't heal. That's pretty good to know. though. Uh, these guys are pretty tough. These guys are level 37. So, um, hoping we could stay alive. If I keep them alive, I guess they can do damage to these guys. Ooh. 
but we can do tiny bits of damage to them. I feel like this is a time when we could uh, bite off more than we can chew. May cooler heads prevail, guys. Well, shit. Big heels coming for you guys. Yeah, I don't particularly think that messing around in here is purposeful. Except maybe to get ourselves killed. So I'm going to make the decision to get out of here. Unless we see like a head shrinker like right here. I, I don't see... Yeah, I don't see what the point is of staying in here. Let's, let's head back up and out. It is a low drop rate. That's true. There's nothing in here. It's just an empty area. Alright, we're going to head back outside. These guys can do whatever. Okay. Gotta love the silence. <laughs> we let him heal. I, I guess the movie, they don't have an interrupt either. I thought as a cat they would have an interrupt, but I guess not. I really want to find this last one and be done with this quest. That would be pretty amazing. The sun looks like it's setting on another beautiful day here in Stranglethorn, and it is time to find the last remedies we need. Doing the chest thing because I pass. I don't. I don't care about the chest. I care about finding more medicine men. 
so we can complete this quest. Piss off. Oh, we have a medicine man over here that we haven't looted. It truly is a terrible drop rate. And like I said, it's exacerbated by the fact that we're in a group. That's the crappy thing, is that you're actually punished for being in a group for in quests like these. Oh, I want the medicine man. Sorry. I basically had to get them off of me, so... Done, done. 